All right, this is a quick video over the different types of um, internal effects on from forces. So let's start off with talking about maybe shear. Shear. So shear is if we applied some force here and another force here. At this point, it would want to shear apart. Or this would want to move up and this would want to move down. So on this area, there is a shear force. So it's shearing. So that is what shear is. It's where something wants to um, just like slide right past each other. So like if you put your hands together and you rubbed them back and forth, that would be shearing kind of. Maybe not the best term, but that's kind of the general idea of shearing. Um, the next one is bending. Bending. Bending occurs when you have moments. So let's say you had some moment here going around this point and another moment that went this way. That That's what bending's from. It's from moments. So if you were on a beam and you then stood on that beam and you stood on it, or stood on it, <laughs> it would bend in the center. So that's what bending is. And the next one, um, it's kind of like bending, but it's more of a... Uh, it's, oh, well, it's torsion. Torsion. And that's when something, um, just, like, if instead we have our, I guess I'll go back up here. We have this rotating this way, or wanting to rotate that way, and this other one wanting to rotate the other way. That's torsion, so I uh, probably can't really draw it too well, but it would look something, I don't know, something like this. Uh, so we have our uh, torsion turning it that way, and then then we have another one turning it this way. So that's what it means by uh, torsion. So those are the basic internal effects due to forces being applied on objects.